Hi everybody, it's Miss Kim. Time for another ukulele lesson. Don't forget to tune up your ukulele. Alright, um, this week we're going to learn some strums. So if you downloaded the uh, lesson for today, you've got something that looks like this on one side and on another side. And then there's one more sheet where you can make up your own strumming patterns. So we've just been doing a, you know, down, like, you know, on the beat, which gets kind of boring after a while. So we're going to learn how you do strumming patterns. So if you look at the sheet on that first page, you'll see numbers, an ampersand, which is an and sign. Ampersand, right? Okay. I, sometimes I'm not real sure about words. Okay, so you see the numbers, the and sign, and you'll see down arrows and up arrows. So if there is a space between the arrows on the and part, that means you pause. So the first strum, and I'm not even going to put a chord on, I'm just going to hold my ukulele, and this, the first strum would be like this. One and two, that's up, and down and up. hear that pause in between each number. So the easiest way to do a strum that I have found is to pick a chord or two chords that you know and just go back and forth between those chords, just getting used to that rhythm. So sometimes it's going to be two beats on the same chord. So it would be down and up and then you would go to your next chord and go down and up so i'm going to put the c or the let's see the g on here and then i'm going to go to a c it's not going to sound the prettiest but it's just two simple chords okay so one and two and three and four It's just so you can hear this, the difference between it, okay? It, it helps out with that. Okay, the next strum is going to be faster because you've got a down and then an up immediately. So if we did that without the chord on, it would be one and two and three and four and, okay? With the chord, it's one and two and three and So you're going to be very quick on that one. So that one might take you a little bit longer to get used to it. We're going to practice a couple songs using these, so don't worry about it. Okay, so the next one, the third strum, sounds like this. So down and down and down, up, down. I'm going to try to do this so that you can hear the two chords. You do down and down and down, up, down and down and down and down, up, down and. Okay. So that's the third strum. The fourth strum is going to sound like this. You've got a pause in the middle. Second end at each end there. So it's down, down, up, pause, down, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay. Down, down, up, pause, up, down, up. This is what sounds like the chords on. Up. Let me try that again. Hard doing the split with the uh, so you probably on this one for right now you're probably better off just keeping the same chord on and then doing it again with the second chord so it's down down up pause up down up You're going to do the 
this as slowly or as quickly as you can. So um, first time you do this, you probably want to go very slow and be very deliberate on all of the beats, especially when you're learning new strums. And then you're going to go to one of your songs that's very familiar and practice them. Okay, then number five is down, up, down, pause, down, up, down, pause. hear those distinct pauses in between and we'll get to the uh, songs in a minute so these are all four four which means there's four beats in a measure so let's try the sixth one that's going to be down pause down up pause down up down oops sorry i read that backwards sorry it's down pause down up pause up down up down pause down up Pause, up, down, up, down, pause, down, up, pause, down. See, I'm doing it wrong again. You get, you can get yourself a little mixed up. Uh, it just takes practice. That strum is unfamiliar to me. So that's one that I need to practice. So we're going to try the 4-4 the four, four time, and we're going to do it with um, Kookaburra. The C and the F. So let's try... Number three. Okay, so you're going to put your C on, and we'll practice just going back and forth between the C and the F. Please do number four. Down, down, up, pause, up, down, up. That's the one I want. Okay. So we're going to do the C. Okay, we'll go to the F. Where your pause is coming in. I'm not going to say pause. Okay, so I'm going to play Kookaburra through once and see if um, you can hear me changing the chords and with the strum. going to want to slow down a lot because you're switching quickly when we were doing this before we were doing sits in the old gum tree. okay but when we're doing strum number four we're going to do four beats on the c then four beats on the f then eight beats on the c in the first line so it's going to be down, down, up, pause, and then you're going to switch, up, down, up, and then you're going to switch, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, pause, switch, up, down, up. Now, if that's too hard for you, just go to number one, which will be, learned is you pick a strum and you practice that and practice that and practice that until it's just second nature um my favorite strum happens to be that number four it 
kind of gives you a little country feel on the songs. Um, if we wanted to speed it up, we could do the number two one. Again, every time you learn something new, start slowly. Sometimes it's hard for people that have been playing an instrument for quite a while to go slowly. So while you're practicing by yourself, it's going to be much easier. You can stop, pick it up again, start over, whatever you want to do. This part is harder to play in a group whenever you're just learning, okay? So I just wanted to give you some strums that you could practice and hear what they sounded like. So if we did another song, uh, like Row, Row, Row Your Boat. You only had one chord change in there. This is probably the best song to practice new strums on, okay? Because you can do the row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Okay, and that was basically that first drum. Just, you just have to take your time. This is something that you're going to want to practice and it makes your music more interesting than just playing the one strum. Let's see here. Another good one for learning the strums would be Mary Ann, which is the um, all day, all night. Oops, what am I doing wrong? See? Oh, I had it on the third, the third string. Instead of, okay, that's the A7. All right, here we go again. This is the number four strong. So that was that kind of country feeling strum, that number four strum. Just take and practice. Okay. Now on the back here, we've got some three, four time. Okay. That's the waltz. You know, one, two, three, one, two, three. So down in the valley is a three, four time. And that's also the D and the A7. So you can do down and down and down and down, down in the valley. Oops. Sorry. Down in the valley, the valley so low. Hang your head over. So the, the chords are kind of grouped in threes okay, on your chart here. Okay. Um, let's see here. That was, so that was the top one. 
Then you can always do the one, two, three, four, five, six, which is kind of boring. Um, number nine is down, up, down, up, down, up. And then number 10 is down, down, up, down, up, down. Okay. So again, you can play with those. And the last strum that I'm going to talk about is the mute strum. So on this one, besides the numbers and the and sign and the up and down arrows there's an m m stands for mute this is more of a like a bluesy kind of so if i was doing mary ann see i'm, I'm taking my hand i'm going down up and then Hitting the, you could even do it every other. See how that mutes the the strum, the strings on the ukulele. trying to do the down up but my hand keeps hitting the strings so you can even do which kind of So you're doing the the mute and the pause together because you're muting it and pausing and then going on with the strum up and down up mute, pause mute pause mute pause mute pause okay well i hope you learned a little something today you just have to practice try those strums out on the different songs that we've done over the last few weeks, and we'll see you next time on our ukulele lessons for beginners. See you later. Bye.